size so this short video is just to uh, teach you how to do the element offset that you need for the project so basically if you have done the project or if you're going to start the project you find out that these beams you need to put the plate basically right at the top and uh, the first time you do it probably this plate is going straight to the middle of the beam so I'm just going to create a simple model to show you how to do the uh, offset of the beam element so first part I just go and create my new material property you can select any material next I'm going to go and select the beam property so make sure element property type you go to beam okay and then here the easiest way is to go to shape I beam I'm just going to put random values I don't know, 1 0 0.5 or 5 or 1 1 1 and here maybe be careful you see the orientation the Y so if you want this to be in that direction maybe put the Y pointing up okay or if you want the Y you can put it the other way and so on so that would change the orientation and you can click here okay so basically that calculates all the properties and one way you can just do the uh, actually the uh, movement of the offset is just by changing the values right here so for example if you want to move it up and down you just need to put here the value you want to move it up and down on the on the uh, y and how much you want to move it on the side on the z you can put it over here so this is one option click ok so let me select a quick model so model so geometry curve line points so let's say I just create something which is or a 0 to 10 ok cancel control A to center mesh mesh control size and curve and I put here 10 elements ok and then you go to mesh geometry curve ok and you select that element and again you will see that so that's the orientation so if you want to keep the orientation on the Y so up you put it here and you click OK so now you don't see anything because the line element but if you go to little cube on top the view style and select the thickness cross section you will see that that's the way it's oriented if you had selected the Z it would be oriented in that direction okay so now you see that point here is the one you want to move up or down so you can either do it by changing the values over here okay or you can also do it you go to modify update element line element offset so you can select just one element or all of them okay you click OK and basically here probably what you want to do is to move it on the Y so let's say you want to move it one on the Y I don't know I don't know if you need to put on both or just one preview okay that's what it would be zero one you will move it up okay now in what direction you want it this is how much you want it to move so let's say you want to move it one oops what happened here okay so let's start that again modify update element line element offset select all okay okay and let's say you want to move it And A, uh, okay, one, okay, and and B will be the one you just need to put the same thing.
and that should move everything up one okay you could move it one down or half up and so on so I hope this will help you to uh, do the project okay for example let's say you decided to do it from here so let's say up it here so let's try 2 2 see what it would do okay so you see move it twice on top so you can do either way okay so that's the end of the video